Good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I'm talking about how to add a new web page or view in ASP dot net uh, MVC. <coughs> so uh, for the web page, uh, you mean to say uh, this is the actual render page on the browser uh, to display the uh, your text, images, and objects, or your you can say the database values. and your you can say the presentation actually so in mvc uh, we have a controller to this uh by the control action method we can access a page that's called a view so let's start it uh, from the new project uh, asp.net web form applications actually empty project uh <coughs> in mvc or uh, if we compare to asp.net web applications in the asp.net web applications we have a dot aspx page and in the mvc we have a view okay so uh, in the view we have to add different pages to render the web browser okay uh, like the home page about us page contact us page uh, these are the different types of pages or you can say the views okay uh, but remember that each different views we have a controller must to add a controller for each different views suppose you have a controller that is home control right? that is the default controller and i want uh, you want to add three methods three action methods in a single home controller and also you want to add views for all control uh, or ac all action methods then you can choose this techniques to as add, add a web page so add a controller that is home controller in the controllers folder okay that's fine now add um mm, controller click to controller and change the name of the controller that is default empty controller and change the controller name because the path in the application start folder that is defined that is home controller okay um mm, because uh here we define our web pages that is the index method that is that is the default uh, action method uh, in the home controller okay build the project before adding the view in the page yeah build started uh build success okay now after that you can add a view for the index action method so add view the name of the view that is the same name as action method that is index now your view is add in the home folder of the view folder you can see that views folder uh, into your project folder and in the views folders we have a single home folder so that is fine index.cshtml uh, that is in the home folder and that is the home folder is inside in views folder so that is uh, this is my home page welcome to to the dot programming dot blogspot.com this is my blog through which you can learn more about programming languages 
and many more things this is the first page you can render that is the controller name is home and the action method is index and the action method call actually to the view so index.cshtml is calling by using the index controller action method okay in previous video tutorials um, I already clear that uh, how to set the startup page of the in different controllers if you have a different controllers then how to set uh, the default action methods and default controller by using the start config.cs file yeah that's my index welcome to dot programming dot blogspot.com that is the view uh, this is the default view which is rendered on the browser okay that's fine because action method calling to the action result actually so now add in the home controller add a new web page that is about and contact copy this uh, method and change the name that is uh, contact yeah that's fine save this and build add views before adding the views please uh, build the project mm, that is the build succeed successfully and now you can add views for the contact action method that is successfully added uh, now you can add uh, here your contact detail that is contact page save this also you can add the contact details uh, if you have uh, facebook id like uh, this is my facebook id of the my blog facebook id you can say uh, http www.facebook.com dot programming this is my blog uh, facebook id but how uh, how can we uh, call the contact method there is uh, two methods to calling the contact by using the url and by using the hyperlinks so first of all i will discuss about the how to call the contact page by using the url this is the default action method that is indexed views and contact the um, contact page yeah this is not found error 404 because here uh, we cannot call yeah this is, that is 404 error so add a hyperlinks uh, in the page to calling the contact page in the index page add a new controller that is contact controller contact controller for separate change the name of the controller that is index but here we add a new contact page okay index yeah that's fine in the contact folder we have add a index page copy this and paste it here yeah uh, 
in the controller folder we have two controller that is home controller and the contact controller and each controllers we have two separate folder that is contact and home okay there is that two method to add the page uh, web page in the MVC for the each controller you can also add and uh, for the each action method you can add a page so add hit contact page yeah that is Facebook ID okay this is the contact page yeah home contact is not uh, succeed yeah that is the home page and mm, welcome to that old programming and this is the contact page for the contact controller for each controllers if you want to add the page then you can call that the two methods for each action method you can add a page in the same folder and for the each controller you add a page in the separate folder okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all video tutorials which is related to MVC thank you thank you very much uh, in the letter uh, in the next video tutorial I will discuss about the master page how mm, to add a master page in MVC so thank you thank you very much